We're going to use the GarageBand app on your iPad to create a four track recording of the tune Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Before we open GarageBand, we need to go into the main settings menu of your iPad, the silver cog. On the left hand side, scroll down until you find GarageBand. Here we go. Tap on GarageBand. And then on the right hand side, scroll down until you find keyboard note labels. And that should be turned on. So if yours isn't turned on, swipe it to the right to turn it on. Then you can exit that menu and we'll open up our GarageBand app. Once you're in GarageBand, you can tap the plus sign on the Recents page to start a new project. The keyboard screen will appear and we're going to choose Smart Piano on the bottom left. Now this opens a view of chord strips for us. These chord strips give us a range of pitches from high to low. bass notes at the bottom on the grey buttons. So um, we're going to edit these. We don't need all these chords for our project. So we want to get rid of the ones that we don't need and select the ones we do. So up in the top right hand corner, there is the settings cog. If you tap there to open this menu and about halfway down, it says edit chords. So tap there. And then tap on the first chord strip on the left, the EM, to select it. That one should turn blue. And we're going to use these columns up here to set up our chords. So we're going to scroll the first column to C and the second column to Mage, which is short for Major, and then None and None. So C, Mage, None, None. And your chord strip should just now be saying C. Tap the second one along, the AM, and let's scroll the first column to F, and the second column to Mage, and then None, None. And then tap the third strip along, the DM, and scroll that one to G, Mage, None, and None. Okay, and then we don't need any of the others, so we'll tap them one at a time and scroll to none in the first column and then the other columns will default to none and the chord name should disappear. So go along and do that for all the remaining chord strips. And when you're finished, you should have C, F and G and everything else should be blank. Then you can go up to the top right and tap done. And you should have this view here with the three chord strips that we need for our project. Next, we're going to set the speed or tempo for our recording. So we're going to tap the settings cog in the top right hand corner again. And near the top there it says tempo and we're going to set that at 90. So we tap on the arrow and it's on 110. So we're going to scroll down we get to 90 just to make it a bit slower and easier to record and then lastly we need to set the length of music that we're going to record so along the top here you can see a ruler with numbers one to eight so that's measuring out the space that we have available to record in our section of music so that's quite a long section we want to make that shorter so it's easier to record so if you go along to the right hand end of the ruler and tap the plus sign and it says section A, eight bars. So if we tap on the arrow there, we can scroll down and change the length of section A to two bars. So once you've changed that to two bars, you can tap anywhere to exit that menu and then check that your ruler along the top has changed. Now it should only have numbers one and two, okay? 
So we're going to be recording some chord sounds along to the beat. So before we actually practice our notes, let's just practice gently tapping a finger on your desk in time to the beat. So if you find the triangle at the very top in the middle there, that's your play button, and press that, you'll hear the clicks going at that speed we chose of 90 clicks a minute. And just try really listening hard and tapping along in time to that click on your desk. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So if you find that tricky, then give yourself time to practice getting that in time. And then we're going to learn the notes that we need for this section. So we're using our C chord strip and our F chord strip for section A. And the space that we want to tap is the second white space up. So you've got the three gray sections at the bottom. Skip a white space and use the second one up. Okay. So we're doing four C's, two F's, and then two C's. Okay, I want to practice that in time with the clicks, so I can press play, and I can do C, two, three, four, F, F, C, C, C. So practice that as many times as you feel you would need to. And then when you're ready, you can record. So the arrow here on the ruler isn't at the beginning and we need to set that back to the beginning before we record. So we use the return button here up at the top next to play. And when you tap that, you'll see the arrow jumping back to the start of the section. So I'll record section A to show you and then you can have a turn. Here we go. recorded your ruler will turn green and it will play back to you what you've recorded there okay if you want to do it again you just tap return check that the arrow is back at the start and tap record again and you can redo it as many times as you need to okay so have a go